Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel TechnoSage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 66 that is plus 1. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. You are given a large integer represented as an integer array digits where each digits of i is the ith digit of the integer. So in the example, you can see the input is digits array. It represents the integer. So the digits are ordered from most significant to least significant in left to right order and the large integer does not contain any leading zeros. What do we need to do? We need to increment the large integer by 1 and return the resulting array of digits. So in the example you can see this array represents integer as 123. So when you increment 123 by 1 it gives us 124 but we need to return the resulting array of digits. So that means 124 will be represented as 1, 2, 4. Similarly, in the second example, you can see 4, 3, 2, 1. So when you increment 4, 3, 2, 1, it would be 4, 3, 2, 2. And in the third example, you can see when we have digit 9. So when you increment 9, so the output should be 10. That means the resulting array should be 1, 0. So now let's see how we can solve this problem types of arrays basically let's say one digits array having numbers as 123 where basically you just need to increment the last digit and you will get the output that would be 124 or you can say 124 and in example where you have digit 9 for example it is 1 comma 9 that means the digit is 19 when you increment 19 it should be 20 right that means 2 comma 0. So whenever the last digit is 9, you need to set that particular digit as 0 and increment the next digit. Basically, you need to do that. So now, what we are going to do, we will run a loop from the last digit till the first digit. That means a reverse loop and we are going to check if digits of i is less than 9. In this case, it is less than 9. If that digit is less than 9, we are simply going to increment that particular digit. That means digit of i plus plus and we are going to return the digits array. Correct? So in this case, it would be since 3 is less than 9, so 3 will be incremented by 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, so the output should be 124. Now in this type of example, what we are going to do? If digits of i is not less than 9, that means it is equal to 9, then we are going to set that digits of i as 0. And when loop will run again, it will check again the next number is less than 9, it will increment that by 1 and then we need to return the digits. But here one more special case we need to consider. So let's say if we have only one digit, and that is 9. So in that case, what do we need to do? We need to increment 9. So it will give us 10, 1 comma 0. But 9 is only one digit. That means this array is having length as 1. But we need to store two numbers. So for that, we are going to take a new array. Let's say the name of that new array is new number. And this particular array should have length of n plus 1. 1. Let's say if n was 1, so now the length becomes 1 plus 1 that is 2. Now when you take this new array, it will have by default numbers as 0, 0 but we need 1 comma 0. So what we are going to do, we are going to set the new number of 0th index as 1 and then at the end we can return new number. So this is how we need to solve this problem. Now let's write a solution for it. This is our class that is plus one. Now let's write a method static int since it is going to return the integer array. So the return type should be integer array. Let's take the name as plus one and it would expect the input as digits array. And then first we are going to find the length of that array that would be digits dot length. And then we need to run the loop from last digit that is n minus 1 and this loop would be a reversed loop. And in the next step we are going to check if digits of i that is the last digit if it is less than 9 
then we are simply going to increment that particular digit and return the digit array and if that number is not less than 9 what we are going to do we are going to set digits of i as 0 case if digit array is having only single digit and that is also 9 so it would come out of the loop and take a new array save the result so it would be having length as n plus 1 we need to set new number of 0 that means first index as 1 so that it becomes 1 comma 0 and we can return the new number array now let's call our function before that let's define the digits array now let's call our function so for that let's first define the digits array it has numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 Let's write the print statement to see the output plus one digits. Now, since this is an array, so we need to convert it into the strings format to see the output. So it would be arrays dot two string. This is how we need to solve this problem. Now let's run the program and see the output. So you can see here the output is one two four. That is one twenty four. Now let's test it with one comma nine. So in that case, what it should do? It should check whether this particular number is less than 9. It is not less than 9. So it will set this number as 0. And loop will run again. And 1 would be incremented to 2. So it should return 2 comma 0. Let's run the program and see the output. So you can see here the output is 2 comma 0. Let's test it with single digit also. So in this case it should take the new array and save the result. Let's run and see the output. So we can see here the output is 1 comma 0. I hope you understood the solution. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. And also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon to get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching.